Hi there, Eric Bagger from New Zealand, coming all the way back to you again. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, take care this winter. It's going to be a cold winter with crappy weather. So be sure that you keep your neck warm, your back, your kidneys warm, wear some nice warm socks. Uh, this winter in New Zealand, we had some very cool spells, and I was quite fortunate that my wife does a lot of knitting. I had some beautiful woolen socks to wear, and it makes such a difference. If your feet are warm and your head's warm, your body's warm, Okay, 40% of the heat loss is through your, your head. So, you know, keep your head warm. Stay cozy. Watch drafts. Don't drink beer. And you'll, you'll, you'll feel good this, this winter. All right? right. We're going to talk now about some of the foods that you really want to avoid with the Candida Cleanse. Now, I've done similar videos like this before. This one's going to be a little bit more comprehensive. I'm going to summarize a whole lot of different points I've spoken about in previous videos. So we all know the big demon you know, of the gut, not just in terms of candida, but it's sugar. I'm stunned to see how much high fructose corn syrup is consumed in North America. It's truly staggering how many millions and millions of gallons of this crap is consumed all the time. So if you eat like I do, you're not going to eat any of this stuff because, you know, they don't usually pour, you know, I mean, plants don't usually take up high fructose corn syrup as part of their food. No one's going to pour it on the ground to feed broccoli. You know? So if you eat fresh stuff, you're not going to get this crap in your diet. The less you buy from the supermarket, the better. The only thing you want to buy from the supermarket is toilet paper and maybe some, I don't know what else you buy in there, but probably not much, maybe a newspaper or something, but you wouldn't want to buy much else from that place. So sugars is a given. We know that. But be careful because sugars are packaged in so many different foods. So every time you eat a processed food, there could be a sugar in it, even without you knowing about that. But as I say, if it tastes good, it's probably got sugar in it. All right? Sugar can become a very powerful addiction for many people. Try and have your addiction, like mine, have like a berry addiction, or have like a garlic addiction, or a broccoli addiction. When you love something, you're going to eat a lot of it, which means it's going to be beneficial for you. When you don't like something, it means you're going to avoid it. Now, your taste buds and your whole gut will shape according to what you eat. Right? If you drink alcohol every day, if you eat crappy food every day, over, slowly over a period of many, many weeks, months, and years, your taste buds will change. Your enzyme output will change in your gut. Your bacteria in your digestive tract will change. <clears throat> That's going to influence your mood, your thinking, your energy. Everything will be influenced by your bacteria. And your bacteria is shaped by what you eat. As I've said before, if you eat crap, you'll feel like crap and look like crap. If you eat good food, you'll feel good and look good. It's common sense to me. It might not be to some people. So, candy, ice cream, soda drinks, anything that's very sweet in the mouth, it's a big, big no-no. But this is not just for candida, folks. This is for overall good health and well-being. So this is just common sense. Fruits are fine for most people, but not those with active candida or SIBO. They need to avoid the highly sweet fruits. Is avocado sweet? Not really. But why do people like it? Many people love the taste of avocado, even though it's not sweet. It just goes to show something doesn't have to be super sweet for you to like it. I bet you there's a food right now that you really enjoy eating that's not full of sugar. Try and look for other foods either in that category or similar to that and expand on that liking of that particular food item and that's a really good step in the right direction for you. Alcohol is one of the biggest no-nos when it comes to the candida diet. So <clears throat> this is one beverage you want to avoid for quite a while. Most people who avoid alcohol for a prolonged period of time tell me they don't miss it, they don't want it in their life anymore, and they found that they're saving themselves not just a lot of money, but they're just feeling so much better. So this is a really big important point I want you to take on board, is to cut alcohol out of your diet for at least three to six months, all forms of alcohol. Now we're not, take, we're not talking herbal medicines here. Many people tell me they get worried they might be taking Swedish bitters or a herb from their herbalist that might contain some alcohol in it. Well, you're not going to be taking like nine shots of St. Mary's thistle, are you? You know, like whiskey, right? You're going to only take a small amount of this every day. 
maybe once or twice a day. So don't worry about the alcohol, co alcohol content of herbal medicines. It's not usually a problem. Unless you're an alcoholic like my stepfather, you'd probably drink the whole lot. Right? Grains. Grains are not the best for many people with a dodgy digestive tract, especially wheat, uh, barley, and rye. I find oats to be acceptable for most people. Now, many people will yell at me and scream at me and say, you're wrong, you're wrong, they're full of gluten and all this, but they're not. The gluten content of oats is so minuscule, you'd have to be a, a pretty bad celiac to, to really react to the gluten in this particular grain. Oats make a supremely good breakfast. They're very, very good for your digestive tract for so many reasons. So, yeah, think about that. You may well be able to tolerate oats, so don't dismiss oats. One of the most frequently asked questions on this YouTube channel is, can I eat oats? If I had a dollar for every time I saw that question, I'd probably be driving a reasonably you know, crappy car, but I'd be driving a car, you know? That's how many times I get asked that question. Peanuts, get rid of them. They're crap. They fatten pigs up. They're good for fattening animals up, but they're not good for you because you'll, you'll get a fat butt out of them, I'll tell you now. They're fattening. They smell good. They look good. They taste good, but they're not good to eat. Uh -huh. They're a bad food. They're not a nut. They're a legume. They go underground. They've got a high potential to contain a toxin, aflatoxin. Uh -huh. And this can make your liver pretty sick. I've mentioned this before in a previous video. More people die globally okay, of liver toxicity from peanuts than they do from alcohol. Fact. All right? Uh, peanuts, when not good, can make your liver very, very sick. Very sick indeed. I just find it a crappy food. It's just full of fat, and often it's rancid fat too. Peanuts get recalled quite often from supermarkets, so don't, don't eat them. Eat tahini instead. Watch out for the allergy foods. All right? So what are the top allergy foods in most people's diets? Dairy products, cow's milk, cheese, cream, ice cream. Let's look at some other key allergy foods. Oranges, different types of citrus. Lemon, generally okay. Mandarins, tangelos, oranges, get rid of them. Pineapples and bananas have a high potential for allergy for many people, especially post-antibiotic. Be careful of pineapple and bananas. Bananas are a great food when you've got a good gut like me, right? but they're no good if your gut is dodgy. So if you've got bloating or gas, don't eat bananas. The more bloating and gas you've got, the less fruit you should be eating. Okay, and the more of the anti-candida kind of broths and salads which I've spoken about previously, you want to be focusing on those. So just be careful. There are a lot of allergy potential foods. Chocolate is another one. Dairy is a big, big category I'd like you to avoid <clears throat> when you're on the candida cleanse. Initially, eventually down the track, you may be able to incorporate more into your diet. So think about that. When you're cutting these foods out of your diet, you're also shaping the way that your stomach and pancreas and small bowel function. Right? You're also going to change the enzyme levels. And that's why it's good to take a good support product with good bacteria and good enzymes in it. That's why I created Canzita Restore, the product with the green label, because you've got several enzymes in there that help to facilitate the breakdown of your new diet. That's going to assist you in minimize bloating and gas. There's several probiotics in there that are going to assist repopulating that gut with that new, you know, newfound diet that you've put in place. So you're eating foods with a high, um, you know, prebiotic potential. They're going in the gut. They break down more easily under the influence of Kanzita Restore. And then the, the bugs in there are going to help create a pH shift. You're going to get your bacteria to grow back a lot faster. So we're getting really good feedback from Kanzita Restore. And it's one that you might want to incorporate when you're doing you know, this kind of changes in your diet. Most of the candida diet is common sense, but be careful of the foods that you're addicted to and hooked to, because those are the ones that are going to create the most problem. It's like being in a dysfunctional relationship. It's hard to say no. You just want to be with that person, even though you know it's toxic. You just want to be with that person, but you've got to get, you've got to chop it, chop it in half and just get rid of this person. You know, you've got to make a clean break. And some People are like this with foods. They're going to make a clean break from that chocolate bar or a clean break from that bottle of beer. It's painful to do it initially, but once a bit of time passes, it's easier and easier, and you look back and you'll think, 
I was stupid. Why did I even do that? Because you're feeling so much better. Give it a try. Thanks for tuning in.